Hi, my name is Aaron. Uh, I'm a, currently a fourth year medical student at Harvard. I grew up in Los Angeles with my parents. Um, they're both from Taiwan. And I went to high school in Los Angeles and then moved to Boston for college. And I have a blood condition called thalassemia. Thalassemia is a condition caused by a change in DNA. And this change in DNA causes red blood cells to be produced abnormally. In normal red blood cells, there's a protein called hemoglobin, which is important for binding to oxygen and carrying the oxygen to important tissues in the body. Unfortunately, in thalassemia, the hemoglobin that is produced is abnormal, and therefore the red blood cell can't really do its function. Therefore, patients with thalassemia need to receive blood from healthy donors. My parents didn't know that they were carriers of thalassemia when I was diagnosed. Both of my parents didn't have any symptoms of thalassemia. When I turned about one year old, my parents started to notice that I was more lethargic, I was uh, getting a little jaundiced. They took me to several doctors to try to figure out what was wrong, and shortly afterward I was diagnosed with thalassemia. It came as a complete shock to both my parents. Coming from Taiwan, their English was not that great, and so they had never learned or heard of the word thalassemia. Over the next several years, my parents really put themselves into learning about the disease and how to best manage my chronic illness. Growing up with thalassemia was difficult for me and my family. Every three weeks, I had to receive a, a blood transfusion and often this required me to skip certain days of school and be unable to spend time with my peers. Over long periods of time, so many transfusions can lead to a condition called iron overload. Because of iron overload, I needed to receive an injection every night. The needle lived underneath my skin for eight hours and medication was infused to help me get rid of the extra iron. So in that way, thalassemia was certainly intrusive and I felt very different from my peers. Particularly because I had to miss so much school, I felt like I wasn't able to spend as much time with my friends as I could. At first, it felt a little bit strange telling people that I was born with this blood disease. It turns out that all of the friends that I've shared this with have been extremely understanding and supportive. Over the years, I've chosen to share this fact about me with all of my close friends and have built a very strong support network of people who understand what I'm going through.